this video, I'm going to share everything that I had for breakfast in Tokyo Central Southern Tower. We have the hot food section, we have the sausage, bacon, fish, tonkatsu, we have the egg section, we have the salad section, we have the miso soup section, and also we have natto, and we have cold food section, we have smoked salmon, and parma ham, and then we have pastry section, and last but not least, we have fruit section. You can enjoy a very nice view in the morning while you're eating. There's also yogurts and cereal, and for drinks, we have soy milk, milk, tomato juice, apple juice, and orange juice. So for the first thing that I ate, uh, I had the sausage. So the sausage is super juicy and crumbly. So there's a huge difference between the texture outside and inside, which is a good sign. I can tell that it uses real meats to make this sausage, and as always, it is a great partner with the ketchup, so it is a solid 8 out of 10. For the second bite, I had the pork, so the pork has a great marbling, it is juicy, super tender, and well sliced. It is not dry at all. You don't need to have heavy seasoning when you have a high quality pork. So I was a bit dumb because I could actually grab some honey in the salad section so that it could be more flavorful. But overall, it is also a solid 8 out of 10. So for the third bite, I had the smoked salmon. So salmon is always my favorite, no matter if it is steamed salmon, pan seared salmon, smoked salmon, and etc. This smoked salmon is fatty, tender, oily, and with a smoky flavor caused by burning woods. The chef should also have squeezed some lime juice onto the fish so it has that sour flavor. This smoked salmon is accompanied by onions. It doesn't have a strong herbs flavor, so overall I rate it a 9 out of 10. I love it very much. For the fourth bite, uh, I had the bacon. So the bacon is uh, very juicy and it is not dry surprisingly. And also it is not hard to chill, but a bit oily, quite tender. So I rate it 7 out of 10. For the Fifth bite, I had a french fries, so the french fries were crispy outside and soft inside. It is also starchy and salty, but it's like McDonald's french fries, but the potato flavor is stronger. So I would rather to have the mashed potatoes, just a 6 out of 10. So for the sixth bite, I had the tonkatsu, so this is Japanese style fried pork, so it is crispy golden brown and it is juicy, rich, and tender. Uh, it has a quite thick layer of meat, but it doesn't have thick panko breadcrumbs to disguise. There's only a small layer of meat because it doesn't have enough meat if that's the case, but apparently it is not, and it is very delicious, so I'm just gonna rate it 8 out of 10. For the seventh bite, I had the grilled white fish. It is salty, crispy, and you can see it has a very nice color, and it's also juicy, fresh, and oily. Overall, 8 out of 10. For the eighth bite, I had the mashed potatoes, so it is super creamy and starchy, and I guess the chef has added plenty amount of whipping cream in order to get the creamy texture, but overall, it is 9 out of 10. Really, super delicious. For the ninth bite, I had the omelette. You can see from the clip, it has a very nice looking, and uh, most restaurants only have uh, the egg omelette itself, but in my case, I also have the Spanish and ham. So the egg on the outside has a little bit crust. Inside, it is quite creamy, well balanced, and the Spanish is salty and moist. And last but not least, we have the ham, uh, not dry, but a little bit salty, which is very nice. Overall, very nice combination, a solid 8 out of 10. 
For the 10th bite, I had the fried and steamed egg. You can see that there's a very nice crust on the outside. And you can also observe that the state of the egg white is different. What I mean is that the egg white that is closer to the crust is cooked and the egg white that is closer to the egg yolk is quite raw but it is not watery. Therefore, the texture of the egg white is different. In addition, you can also see the color of the egg yolk. It is pink and orange. It is not the normal yellow or orange. Overall, it is crispy. It has a very nice runny yolk, so solid 8 out of 10. After having all those very heavy fruits, I had some fruits. So, uh, this is the pineapple, you can see obviously, it is sweet and sour, it has a very nice color for the pineapple, it is quite yellow, it is not dark yellow, so it shows that it is actually sweet instead of like sour, and you can see that the pineapple is actually very fresh, as you can see, the steam and the leaf are still green, which is a good sign, so overall 8 out of 10. For the last thing that I had, I had some strawberries, so it is chewy, sweet, and sour. And for this particular kind, the red means that it is ripe, which is the perfect time to enjoy your strawberries. So this is sensational. It is very delicious. So definitely check it out. 9 out of 10. So this is the end of today's video. Thanks for watching, please make sure to like, subscribe, share, turn on the notification bell and comment if you enjoyed the video. If you haven't watched the last Tokyo episode yet, you can click the video at the top left hand corner. If you want to watch some violin playing, you can click the video at the top right hand corner. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.